23 dollar 45 cents. Hey guys. Hi teacher. Hey. Hi teacher. <laughs> Hi, I'm sorry, guys. Ah, this internet. So, thank you very much for waiting for me. You know, thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for practicing. Gracias por practicar. Um, you can go ahead and continue for a few minutes. I just want to know if this topic is clear. ¿Tienen más o menos claro el tema en el que han estado trabajando? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, good. Now, remember... Practice makes perfect. Um, bueno, antes de empezar, guys, quiero decirles que estoy en contacto con el proveedor de internet porque está demasiado intermitente. Ok, ya van dos veces esta semana, esta semana que me pasa lo mismo y no puede ser porque ustedes se merecen lo mejor todo el tiempo en el cual ustedes tienen que estar um, conectados, todo el tiempo de práctica. Así que espero que ya la próxima semana no pase esto. Um, y ni modo, a darle para mientras, ¿ok? Ok, ok. So, we're gonna cover something real quick. Here. Ok, now go ahead and read it with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson, Lesson objective. objective. 3.5. Uh -huh, 3.5. Ok. In this lesson, participants will... Ah, uh, there's a mistake here. These two... It's not supposed to be there. Jamás después de will, vamos a tener el to. Okay? So, in this lesson, participants will listen to sentences stress in order to improve pronunciation. Go ahead and repeat, please. In this lesson, in this participants, lesson participants will, will listen, listen, listen to sentences stress in order to improve pronunciation. 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 So, en esta clase los participantes escucharán la fuerza de voz en oraciones con el objeto de una mejor pronunciación. Ok. Let's go ahead and do it here. Sentence stress. Ok. There we go. Let's go ahead and listen to it. And if you have any questions, let me know. All right, one moment, it's still loading. Hello to all of you. I want you to pay attention to the stress given to the important words when speaking. In this lesson, participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. Sentence stress. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then repeat. Practice as many times as needed. Okay, so as you can see here, guys, we're going to have different... Give me a second here. Lesson participants will listen to stress to improve pronunciation. Sentence stress. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. They're perfect. All right. Now, number one. Yeah. Give me a second. Just Guys, me. quiero mostrarles algo. Fíjense que aunque, bueno, no sé si me deja ver el speed test. Me dice que tengo 42 megabytes de descarga. Aún así, estoy teniendo muchos problemas de conexión, ¿ok? So, las disculpas del caso, como no cargaba el video, um, vamos a tratar de hacerlo a veces si los recursos no nos dan, buscar la manera de solucionarlo, ¿ok? So, here, as you can see, say it with me, please. Excuse me. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, this bigger circle means that the stress is going to go up. And internet. All right. Now, in English, there are some things. There's, well, there's actually something called 
content and function words. Now, las content and function words, guys, son prácticamente las que vamos a, a, a subir en entonación o a dejar flat. Ok. Now, las content words son los verbos, verbs, nouns, adverbs, and adjectives. Esos son los content words. En las function words son todo lo demás. Ok. Articles. 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 Um, auxiliary verbs. Etc. Todo lo demás que no sea verb, noun, adverb, and adjective is going to go down in, in pitch. Ok. So, si ustedes... Ven acá. Tiene bastantes cosas, right? Here, if we say, excuse me, vamos para arriba acá, excuse me, say it again, please, excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. me. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. They are perfect. They, They are, are perfect. perfect. Good. Here we go. I like the blue one. I like, I like the, the blue one. one. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, si ustedes se fijan, teacher, pero like es verbo, right? So, si, de, si decimos, I like the blue one, la entonación, the rhythm, el inglés, como, tanto como el español, tiene un ritmo. So, generalmente vamos a ir subiendo y bajando. I like the blue one. ¿Por qué blue one? Porque estamos haciendo énfasis en cuál nos gusta. So, Say with me. I like it. I like, I like it. it. I like it. I like it. I like, I like it. it. ¿Dónde creen ustedes que está la entonación? Where do you think is the stress? Like. Uh, like. like. Ajá. I like it. Simplemente me gusta. ¿Y por qué le vamos a poner acá? I like the blue one. ¿Por qué el estrés en, la, en blue? En el adjetivo y no en el verbo. Who, who, who can give me an explanation for this? Nobody? All right, so let me explain it to you. We're going to say here, I like the blue one because we want to make emphasis. Queremos hacer emphasis en el que nos gusta es el azul. Okay, no sé si me voy a entender. Sí. Good. And we have this one right here. This one is, I need a volunteer to read it. Necesito un voluntario que trate de leerlo. No importa si está bien o mal. Oh, okay. They are not very attractive. That's right. They are not very attractive. So we go, they are not, subimos, very, very, very attractive. They are not very attractive. So what do you think is the emphasis here? ¿Cuál creen ustedes que es el emphasis en esto? Not an attractive. Attractive. Aha, uh -huh. exactly. So pretty much not attractive. Estamos dándonos... Um, a entender que no es atractivo. So now, I'm going to give you a tool, guys. Give me a second. Pero, teacher, excuse me. Pero ahí dice, eh, no también tiene énfasis. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Now, como les estaba mencionando antes, um, acá, esa es la regla. Por ejemplo, verbs, nouns, adverbs, and adjectives. Pero también tenemos que tomar en cuenta el contexto. ¿Ok? El not generalmente no tendría que estar en highlighted o stressed, perdón, stress. Stress no es que esté estresado, que no sepa qué hacer, sino que el estrés es la fuerza. Pero acá nosotros estamos diciendo que they are not very attractive. ¿Por qué? Porque atractivo es positivo o negativo. Eh. Positivo. Uh -huh. Sí, es positivo. Es positivo, ¿verdad? Y nuestro mensaje es lo Negativo. Exactly. So that's why we have to stress it so our message can be clear. Tenemos que estresar el not porque tiene que serle contrapeso al attractive. Si yo les digo, they're not very attractive. Y simplemente tiro el estrés en el attractive, la, el oído se va a quedar con eso, con el attractive. Entonces el mensaje no va a ser claro. 
ahí son excepciones en cuanto al contexto y lo que usted quiere darle a entender a la otra persona. Ok. ¿Me doy a entender con eso? Yes. 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 All right, very good. So listen up. I'm going to share something with you. You can practice. This website is esl-lab.com. Here. I'm going to write it down on the chat. esl-lab.com. What is this going to be good for, guys? I need you to scroll down and you're going to find this. Si quieren, vayan tomando el screenshot y vayan pegándolo en el chat para que todos vean como los pasos. I need somebody uh, who can do that for me, please. Necesito que alguien se encargue de eso ahorita. Who's going to do it? Me. Okay, let me know when you have it, please. Yep. All right, very good. So I would recommend you to start in easy just for you to know exactly what to do. You're going to click on easy. All right. And you're going to do it in order. You're going to find the first one, a day at school. You click it. You click on the first one. This is just for you to know what to do. And here, you're going to do a couple of things. Let me know if you can hear it. Déjenme saber si pueden escuchar. Están viendo lo que estoy haciendo, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Yes, teacher. Good. So you're going to play it here. Hello, today I'm interviewing Joshua on his experiences going to a Japanese school. Now, Joshua... ¿Pueden escuchar? Yes. Yes. All right. Very good. So, step number one, what you have to do is listen to it. Simple as that. Let's go ahead and play it. Please pay attention. Hello, today I'm interviewing Joshua on his experiences going to a Japanese school. Now, Joshua, what time do you go to school? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. And do you go by yourself or on a school bus? No, I have a group that goes with me. So you go with a group. Uh -huh. now, now, what kinds of things do you take to school? I take my Thai Sofuku that is gym clothes. And I take my backpack to have my books. Oh, okay. And stuff like that. Okay. And what is the first thing you do when you get to school? We do kiddits. Ki there. Kiddits and there. Now, what are those? It means stand up, okay. bow. Stand up and bow. Uh-huh. Okay. And what do you study at school? We study... Kokugo, that is writing and reading and stuff like that. Okay. And Sanju, that's math. Okay. And let's see. We do gym, too. Okay. And where do you eat lunch? Do you have a lunch room or cafeteria? No, we eat in our classroom. You eat in your classroom? Yes. Oh, wow. That is very interesting. Now, what time do you come home from school? We come home sometimes at and sometimes at two. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Joshua. You're welcome. All right. So let me ask you something, guys. Was it easy or difficult? Easy or difficult? ¿Le entendieron? Más o menos. <laughs> Más o menos. Okay. Don't worry about it. So how does Joshua go to school in Japan? You have the options right here. Uh, how does Joshua go to, go to school mm -hmm. in Japan? In, in Japan. Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, he takes a school bus every morning. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Number two, which item Joshua not take to school? This is based on the audio. Esto es basado en el audio, es prácticamente... Ver comprensión. ¿Cómo estamos con comprensión? Sí. Uh -huh. ¿Anybody? No importa que esté mal, solo díganme una. Eh, uno que se acuerde. Uh 
a school I think hat. It's a, a school hat. Okay, let's go with a school hat. Now, what does Josh do first when he gets to school? ¿Qué hace primero? He stands up and bow to the teacher. Bow is una reverencia. Bow, like this. He puts on his gym clothes for class. He practices his reading and writing. And he stands and um, bows to the to teacher. teacher. Okay, very good. ¿Cómo se dice reverencia? Bow. 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 Mm -hmm. bow. Aquí está wow. el S por la tercera persona del he. Esto es ah, ok, pero bow. Mm -hmm. Bow, okay. exactly. Where does Joshua eat lunch, eat lunch at school? In, a, in his classroom. Ok. Lunch. Joshua probably gets home from school between... Oh. Mm -hmm. What time do you think he goes, he gets home? Mm, three and four p.m. Okay. Veamos. Let's see what we got. All right. So. No. This is what we got. Number one. He take. Uh, he walks with a group of students. Okay. okay. Number two. That's correct. Number three. That's correct. He stands up and bow to the teacher. In the classroom, that's correct. And here, hmm, it was between two and three. Now, this is the good thing about it. Aquí tienen ustedes, pueden practicar el vocabulario de la conversación, but this is what I wanted to do. Here, I wanted to click here. Screenshot, please, Johnny. Okay. Uh -huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. See the listening transcript. See listening. Uh -huh. Good. And you're going to have access. Vamos a ver si ya sale. Yes. You're going to have access to these guys. Now, I want it to preach. I'm going to play it and just read. Lo voy a dar play. Y ahora lo que quiero que hagan es que ustedes sigan su listening con la lectura. Okay, y me dicen si al final ustedes entendieron un poquito más. Okay. Hello, today I'm interviewing Joshua on his experiences going to a Japanese school. Now, Joshua, what time do you go to school? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. And do you go by yourself or on a school bus? No, I have a group that goes with me. So you go with a group. Uh -huh. now, now, what kinds of things do you take to school? I take my Thai Sofuku that is gym clothes, and I take my backpack and my books. Oh, okay. And stuff like that. Okay, and what is the first thing you do when you get to school? We do kiritz. Be. Kiritz and be. Now, what are those? It means stand up, okay. bow. Stand up and bow. Uh -huh. Okay, and what do you study at school? We study Kokugo, that is writing and reading and stuff like that. Okay. And Sanju does math. Okay. And let's see. We do gym too. Okay. And where do you eat lunch? Do you have a lunch room or cafeteria? No, we eat in our classroom. You eat in your classroom? Yes. Oh, wow. That is very interesting. Now, what time do you come home from school? We come home sometimes at three and sometimes at two. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Joshua. You're welcome. All right. Now, guys, let me ask you something. Were you able to understand a little bit better? ¿Entendieron un poquitito más o todavía algo perdido? Mm, sí, se comprendió más. más. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, this is what I wanted to do, guys. Este, el motivo por el que yo traigo esto es... Por esto mismo. Pronunciation and sentence stress. Ok. En vez de ustedes que lo pueden hacer, estar viendo el sentence, el, los content words, function words, le pueden dar una leída. La mejor manera para que ustedes perfeccionen su inglés es como lo hace un niño. Repitiendo. So, um, 
las, los pasos a seguir en esto son los siguientes. Número uno, hagan uno al día. Es la recommendation, se los recomiendo. Okay. Hagan uno. Paso número uno, I'm going to write down here. Step number one. Step one, just listen. All right. Step two, answer the questions. Oops. Answer the questions. Acá ustedes van a ver su comprensión. Step three. Read and listen. Va a mejorar su comprensión. Step four. What you're going to go is play, pause, repeat. Okay? So step four is going to be like this. Hello, today I'm interviewing Joshua on his experiences going to a Japanese school. So, you play it, you pause it, and you repeat exactly the same. Hello, today I'm interviewing Joshua, Joshua on his experiences going to a Japanese school. We go up again. Now, Joshua, what time do you go to school? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. And do you go by yourself or on a school bus? No, I have a group that goes with me. So you go with a group. Uh-huh. So the idea is this, guys. La idea es esta, que ustedes vayan copiando absolutamente todo. Mm -hmm. Traten de hacerlo idéntico. Now, va a ser muy difícil que ustedes puedan darle play y luego buscar algo. Así que tienen dos opciones. Lo pueden imprimir. O simplemente lo escriben en un cuaderno como está acá y así ustedes practican su writing. We kill two birds, one stone. Matamos dos pájaros de un solo tiro. So play, pause, repeat. Play, pause, repeat. Now, esta es la mejor manera para que ustedes eh, mejoren su pronunciación, como estamos acá. El stress también. Y con que sean uno al día, créanme que con un minuto 32 que dura esto, pueden pasar sus dos horas. Okay. So, luego el challenge, el reto se hace un poco mayor. Lo que tienen que hacer es, lo han repetido tantas veces que ya se lo pueden. Y van a hacer esto. Hello, today I'm interviewing Joshua on his experiences going to a Japanese school. Now, Joshua, what time do you go to school? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. And do you go by yourself or on a school bus? No, I have a group that goes with me. So you go with a group. Uh huh. So, ¿se fijaron que yo iba exactamente el mismo ritmo? Yes. Sí. Eso es lo que yes. ustedes tienen que lograr. Han repetido tanto, se lo pueden tanto que ya van a poder eh, leerlo encima con la misma entonación, la misma pronunciación. Y luego de eso, lo que yo les recomiendo para terminar el challenge, grábense. ¿Ok? Grábense okay. y comparen oh. su audio con el audio que ustedes tienen. No necesitan okay. teacher, no necesitan coach que les esté corrigiendo el audio porque ustedes ya lo tienen. So, my friends, uno de estos al día, y yo les prometo que su inglés va a mejorar increíblemente. ¿Por qué? Están repitiendo tanto que están absorbiendo gramática. No se dan cuenta, pero luego van a empezar a escuchar algo que ya no les suena bien. Y es por el mismo hecho de la gramática. Ok, so guys, okay, okay. Um, les estoy dando oro, así es literalmente como los bebés aprenden repitiendo, así es cuando, por eso es que si ustedes se van seis meses a Estados Unidos, van a aprender más que en una academia en otro país, porque están en contacto total y ustedes van a empezar a repetir. All right, now any questions as far as the pronunciation, alguna pregunta acerca de este proceso? No. No. Es de, ¿Creen que ustedes que es demasiado? No, yo creo no, que es no. una buena recomendación. Uh -huh. Good. Estar practicando y ir comprendiendo. Exacto. Y aquí, ah, eso es otro. Ah, antes que, que nos vayamos. Acá ustedes van a aprender vocabulario y lo van a ocupar en contexto. ¿Ok? So, por ejemplo, si nosotros ponemos school, sabemos que es escuela. Bus sabemos que es este, un bus, ¿verdad? Por lo tanto, school bus es un bus escolar. Sin embargo, hay compound nouns, que prácticamente son nouns de dos palabras, 
que una cosa significa una, algo, otra significa otra, y ya juntos es que cambian. Entonces, siempre ahí ustedes es donde van a empezar a, 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 a obtener vocabulario. Y si están practicando, por ejemplo, con Simple Present, aquí prácticamente casi todo es Simple Present, por eso es la primera del Easy, ahí ustedes pueden empezar a hacer oraciones con el nuevo vocabulario. No lo tienen que escribir, solo digan. ¿Ok? Do we have lunch? Do, we, do you have a lunchroom or cafeteria? Do you have a house or an apartment? Do you have a car or a motorcycle? Do you have a dog or a cat? Cuando ustedes empiecen a identificar esos patrones, ya van para abajo, bueno, para arriba en su aprendimiento, en su aprendizaje. All right? Perfecto. All right, guys. So it's been a pleasure. Again, disculpen por la tardanza en conectarme. Esto está increíble. Me sorprende que no me haya conectado todavía. Uh, voy a seguir trabajando con el proveedor de internet. Yo creo que con 50 megabytes es más que suficiente para dar esta clase, pero aún así me está dando muchos, muchos, muchos problemas. Ok. So, uh, gracias por practicar. Uh, y ustedes también pueden practicar eh, solos. All right. Y si no, me escriben y con gusto les ayudo. Espero ya el lunes no tener ningún tipo de problema con internet. Ok. Ok. Ok, teacher. All right, guys. Thank so, you. my pleasure. Thank you very much. My name is Alejandro Narbona. Remember, we have no classes tomorrow. No hay clases mañana. Uh, practiquen el fin de semana. Pasen tiempo con sus familias. Lávense las manos. And I hope to see you on Monday. Espero verlos el lunes. Thank you. See you on Monday. Thank you. Welcome, you guys. Thank you for joining Inglés Corporativo. Have a good night. Good, good night. Bye-bye.